The drive shaft is a mechanical component for transmitting torque and rotation, usually used to connect other components of a drivetrain that cannot be connected directly because of distance or the need to allow for relative movement between them. In rear wheel drive and four wheel drive vehicles, it is the drive shaft that transmits the drive force generated by the engine to the axles. The reason I'm removing the front drive shaft in my Jeep Grand Cherokee is because I'm replacing both U joints and the CV centering yoke on the double carding. The front drive shaft is located on the driver's side of the vehicle. This is the constant velocity side of the drive shaft that connects your front axle to the transfer case. This is the double card inside of the front drive shaft going into the transfer case and this is the actual transfer case that connects to the rear axle through this rear drive shaft. The rear drive shaft is what gives the rear wheels power. The drive shafts both front and rear are also called the vehicle's drive line. Also important to note, drive shafts are balanced from the factory and have external weights welded on. If these weights were to get knocked off or you somehow manage to bend your drive shaft, you're going to have issues with vibration. You'll notice I marked the drive shaft position relative to the yoke so I put it back in the same position. So using a quarter inch ratchet and an eight millimeter socket, you just remove these six bolts. If you're having trouble reaching any of the bolts on the drive shaft, get back in the Jeep and put your transfer case in neutral. This will allow you to manually spin the drive shaft yourself to reach the bolts better. You also want to make sure your wheels are chalk or your tires are off the ground before doing this. You'll notice that me spinning the drive shaft is causing all four wheels to rotate. This is 4x4 four four in action. When you're ready, pop the transfer case back in the gear to keep the drive shaft from spinning while loosening the bolts. With the same quarter inch ratchet and 8mm socket, remove the four U joint bolts on the double carden joint. After you remove the four bolts, you may find it necessary to use a screwdriver to separate the double carden from the yoke. Once you have the double card inside separated, the drive shaft just pulls out. Make sure you have an oil pan to catch any gear oil that may spill out. And that's how you remove the front drive shaft. Now that I have the drive shaft removed, I'll be using the Wilton Hitch Vice and a ball joint press tool to remove and install the new U-joints. So stay tuned, I'll have a double card and rebuild video coming soon.